Hi everyone, I'm Marianne, visual artist and voice coach in Singapore, from Singapore. And um, welcome to day 8 of my 100 day daily vlog project where I post a video every single day until Christmas Eve um, sharing about the creative process, about the artist's journey, about self-expression, about personal growth, about manifesting your dreams, following your heart, following your passion, all these things that I'm passionate um, talking about and um, people who know me would say that they've heard some of these things before because I would inevitably bring it up in conversation because I love talking about them. Um, I've talked about these on first dates too. I think I've scared some guys away, but oh well, you know, I guess they were just not ready for this kind of conversation and that's fine. Um, it just means that, you know, there are other more compatible options out there which I have yet to find. Um, but that's besides the point. Hmm, I wonder if I'll talk about like my love life in this series too. We shall see over the next few days. Um, okay, so... Um, if you have questions about the creative process, about the artist's journey, about self-expression, about life and, you know, following your dreams and uh, what does it mean to follow your, you know, follow your passion and, um, or any confusions around, you know, passion versus, you know, job and whatever, okay, all these things that you think I might be able to answer, please leave your questions in the comments below any of the videos. Um, you'll also find my social media links where an email where you can get in touch with me if you are shy about your question and you prefer to contact me directly. Um, I will answer these questions as the inspiration flows because that's part of what I'm doing here, following the inspiration and seeing what happens over these next 100 days. Um, so, Yesterday, I talked about my favorite topic, which is what is your dream, right? And um, um, I shared a lot about like, you know, this dream that we have for our lives is, is not just something that, oh, you know, that's my dream and then it's kind of just there on the horizon, but you actually have to take action because, you know, the dream that you see right now is just the first step towards something else and something else and something else and something else that's much grander in the whole um I guess, you know, that's why I say that we're all artists uh, because <laughs> even if you're not an artist or, or you don't consider yourself a creative, um, the way you live your life is basically following whatever inspiration there is, you know, and this takes the form of your dream or, or your goal or something that really matters to you. So when you go after and when you fulfill that, you know, the next thing would show up. And when you fulfill that, the next thing would show up. And then when you fulfill that, the next thing would show up and so on and so forth until you have, you know, this grand picture I guess of your life which is like your masterpiece uh, which is what you know an artist's body of work becomes eventually as they progress in their career and artistic development uh, what we call the the magnus opus magnum is the ice cream okay magnus opus um oh god I might be butchering this name but okay um I will put a subtitle you know if if I made if I said it the wrong if I said it wrong um, okay, so, so uh, why the internal barriers come up a lot more when we're going after something that truly resonates and it truly means something to us is because, you know, the stakes are much higher, right? And um, when there's something that we really, really want, for some reason, everything in us will tell us that, you know, that it's gonna, that we're gonna screw up, that, um, that, you know, we don't deserve it, that we're not good enough, there might be a fear of failure. Uh, for some people, there's even a fear that you would actually succeed and get it because when you do get it, um, then what does that mean? You know, what does that mean for your life after that? Are, are things going to have to change? Um, so there's also a fear of uncertainty in all this. And I guess, you know, when our reality, that the, the life that we live as adults usually, <laughs> because you see, when you're, when you're a kid, you're a lot more flexible and adaptable, right, usually. Um, and then as you get older, um, as we get older and as we start going out into the working world and we start to craft, you know, our living and, you know, um, get married, settle down, have kids, all that, um, we, we start to kind of solidify in our way of living. We start to become creatures of habit. And as a result, this uncertainty, um, you know, it kind of threatens to upset the balance that we have created in our lives, that we have worked many years to create in our lives. So that's why a dream, as much as is something that we want, we are unlikely to go after it because we don't want to upset this, you know, nice little routine and nice little balance that we've had in our lives. Um, yeah, so, so, <laughs> so as a result, you know, when there's something that you really want and you know you really want it, 
your internal barriers all the more are going to come up and stop you because it knows, like inside you, you know that when you achieve that thing, everything's going to change. You might think that nothing's going to change, but we kind of know everything would change if you only got that. And that's where, you know, we would stop ourselves. You know, sometimes we might even get really close to the finish line and then we just back off. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot that I can talk about, you know, going into this process. Um, but what I wanted to, to really talk about, you know, is how this dream, um, something that we really want so much that is so unattainable. And part of why that is, is also because when we have a dream, we have this idea that we think that, oh, because it's my dream, it's going to be something that, um, you know, like pursuing my passion or pursuing something that matters to me is going to be easy. Like we, we automatically equate, you know, passion with something that is um, attainable or something that is, you know, because I'm passionate about it, I would feel like doing it all the time or it would be easy for me to do it all the time. But that's not true. <laughs> so I discovered that that is not true. Okay. Just because you're passionate about something doesn't mean that it will come easy to you. Um, it might to some extent, but then at some point, you know, in that journey, as you go along it, you're going to hit a wall. And that wall kind of like tests you to see whether you are really keen on this passion or keen on this dream dream or not. And it's kind of up to you to climb that wall or get around it or drill, you know, bash through it or whatever to get to the other side. Or you can stay there and stay stuck. And that's where a lot of people quit before they've even gotten anywhere. Yeah. So it's a misconception, you know, that going after your dream and pursuing your passion is an easy journey because it's not. Um, and... Yeah, and that's also why when the internal barriers come up, uh, we don't expect it because we think it was supposed to be easy. It's a, we're supposed to feel like doing this and how come we suddenly don't? And oh, because I don't feel like doing it now, maybe it's really not my passion and maybe it's really not for me. But very often that's you know, usually a sign that that is what you want to go after and you're stopping yourself. Um, so one way to know whether it really is your passion or not is, you know, you can leave it alone for a while and see if it comes back. Because if it comes back round, usually it means, yeah, there's something that you have not fulfilled there that really matters to you. So I'm going to share more over the next 90, I've lost count, 92 days. <laughs> so um, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments or DM me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my Facebook page wherever you're watching this video on. And um, I will see you tomorrow.